Thanks, sir. So, okay, you want me to make a movie with you? Yeah, I could use some extra credit, and you're the only filmmaker I know, so... Okay. Uh, what kind of genre are you looking at? Like, drama, comedy, documentary? I was documentary? thinking maybe a suspense movie. I mean, you like black and white, right? We could use some existing footage, maybe call it dorm room. You think I'm the perv? No, Dylan, I don't. Do not lie to me! The role of Lucas Jones is now being played by Ben Hogeston. Have you seen Dylan? I live here, too. You think you can manage to knock next time? I'm really sorry. I'm just really worried about him. Everybody thinks that he did this, even people he's known for forever. Well, it doesn't actually help that his fingerprints are on a photo of Brooklyn naked. I thought you were on his side. I am. I'm just saying... No! That... You cannot seriously think that Dylan is guilty. He could be. And if you're not careful, you can find out the hard way. What is he supposed to be, Maxine? You and Jesse setting up a trap for me to drool over pictures of you passed out? No, don't. That... I... Don't. Don't. You are setting me up. What is wrong with you people? First Brooklyn, and now you? If I can't convince my friends, how on earth am I supposed to convince the police? Hey, you tell hey, me that. Hey, hey. What's going on here? What's going on? Um, my friends think that I drug girls and take pictures of them naked. Of course, the psychopath, you know, he, he, uh, he likes pictures. And so we all suspect the film student. I really should have majored in accounting. That's what I think. By the way, Maxie, what are you doing this, this semester besides Jesse? Tell him myself. Yeah, neither is what you just tried to do. I really thought that I had a handful of friends who believed in me. Thank you. Thank you for showing me otherwise. Dylan! Like that. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, uh, I think I really messed up. Tell me quick, I'm in Dylan's room. Okay, well, I, I tried to work Dylan to prove he was innocent. I told you to stay out of this. I know, Jesse, but I am a target, okay? And I'm not gonna sit around and wait for some creep to make a move. Problem is, Dylan figured out I was working him, and he got really angry, and he stormed out. I've never seen him like this before. It scared me, and I don't know where he's going or what he's gonna do. Hello? Jesse? Jesse! Lucas? Well, we just started. You may as well answer it. Maxie? Jesse's in trouble. You have to help him, Lucky. Well, okay, just calm down. Tell me what happened. <sighs> okay, I, I, I called Jesse, and he said he was in Dylan's room, and we were talking about the stalker, and, and then I heard a noise, and I heard Jesse groan, and the line went dead. He it sounded like he was on to something, and he hasn't called me back, and I'm just really worried something awful happened. Okay, just stay right there. I'll take care of it. What happened? I was looking around the room, talking with Maxie on the phone, and got whacked. By me. Boy, you, you hit the police sticker over the head with this? It was dark. I heard somebody rustling around in the room. I grabbed whatever I could because I thought it was the pervert, and I swung. Boy, you had something to hide? So you hit me over the head by yourself time to get rid of it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Why didn't I just leave, Jesse? Why would I stick around to help you? Because it makes for a better story. Are you gotta be kidding me. I can't win. Why do I even bother with the truth with you guys? You're just going to twist it around and make me look guilty anyway. Forget Mike, have you seen Dylan? Uh, yeah, you, you missed him. He, he took off. He left all his stuff. I'm sure you've heard all the awful things he's been accused of. Yeah, he told me himself. This is awful, Mike. I, he couldn't have done those things. He's not creepy that way. Okay, and I'm not the one who needs convincing. Your dad is. I will tell Dylan he came back. 